So Jupiter's in Pisces, the North Node's about to go into Taurus, and we're going to talk about the master number 22. It's all coming up. Hi everyone, I'm Donna Stelhorn, your Practical Astrologer, here to talk to you today about the full moon in Cancer. It's on January 17th, and we have a lot to talk about because we have some some planets and points that are changing signs. There are still a couple of planets retrograde. And I want to talk to you about the number 22. And let's just start right there. So the number 22 is a master number. It's uh, we find master numbers in all of the duplicate numbers. So 11, 22, 33, etc. Let's start with the energy of 22, which is the first, the two, of course, very prominent, which is the yin yang, you know, us connecting with another individual to make something happen. But then we're putting that together with another two, two plus two equals four. And so what we have is creating something through hard work or determination or effort. But it is also about recognizing what is important to hold on to and what's important, like not necessary. Like what are you holding on to that you need to let go of? So the 22 master number is to pick a specific goal and say to yourself, all right, I need to find who I can cooperate with on this project. And then we need to focus our energy and and move forward in a very determined way. And that's where the hard work of it comes in. Um, this is the idea, you know, from if we move from like the number 11, which is uh, more of the master architect, that's the person who designs the plans. This is the master builder. This is the one who has to lift the bricks and put one brick on top of another to make something happen. So, you know, over the past year, maybe you were thinking a lot about, um, you know, different things that you want to do when all the craziness cleared up, or, you know, maybe you were just thinking that you were going to make a change. And now is the time this year to implement that. And we have a couple of dates coming up you'll want to know about. And first of all, that would be February 2nd, 2022, because yes, there's a lot of twos right there, but that's also the day after Lunar New Year. Now, I have some videos on uh, Chinese astrology on this channel about what the Year of the Tiger is going to bring. So you might want to check those out. But uh, this is one of the two days that, I, that we have in February where you really want to look at your goals and see, you know, put yourself in alignment with what it is that you want. And then, of course, you probably guessed the other date is February 22nd, 2022. That is going to be a big day where you can set your intentions to the universe, you know, reading off your goal list or maybe just getting started, you know, sending out an email, asking about a collaboration, you know, direct messaging somebody that you want to work with or just putting some announcement out in the world that your intention is to complete some sort of project. So these are the two days where you can, you know, start that uh, whatever it is on this good vibration of this 22. So some other things that are uh, featured in this chart and that we should be thinking about as we are moving through January and that is Venus is still retrograde. And so Venus retrograde does cause us to, you know, look at what it is that we want and determine whether we still want it. Now, also the things that can happen is a love from your past can return. So, and then you have to decide whether, you know, you are both now in a place where things could work or if you're in the same place where, you know, there'll just be problems again. This is also a time when a lost object could return to you. So, you know, if you lost an earring or keys or, or something that you value. And then also money can come back to you. And that is if somebody owes you money, this is the time to reach out to them and see if you can get them on a payment plan or, you know, to get them started in bringing you what they owe you. 
By the time of this full moon, Mercury will be retrograde. It goes retrograde on January 14th to February 3rd. Mercury retrograde, of course, is redoing things. And so that is rethinking, redoing, reanalyzing, you know, reassessing, all of that. But Mercury retrograde can be very difficult for doing things that you don't want to repeat. So this is why we don't recommend that you know you go buy a house during Mercury retrograde. If you are in a house buying process right now, you have to be super patient and recognize that the deal could fall through. Uh, and the same with you know buying a car is particularly difficult because you could end up with a car that you don't like or a car that has a continual problems. Uh, same with buying a new computer or getting a new phone. So now sometimes we can't avoid it. Sometimes we have to make a purchase or take an action during Mercury retrograde. And then what we do is we just try to mitigate that energy by being very patient and understanding when things are not smooth. But if you can avoid actually doing the action during the retrograde period, it's better. By the way, myself and another astrologer, Tammy Magaro, wrote a book on all of the retrogrades, Mercury retrograde periods that are going to happen in 2022. There's a link to that book in the description. Now, Jupiter has gone into Pisces and Jupiter is quite comfortable in Pisces. But what this means is that that boundaries between us and other things are dissolving. And so and this is kind of interesting when you think of the direction that technology is going with more decentralization and so because Jupiter is just in and out of Pisces over the course of a year it's not Jupiter that's making this happen but I think there'll be a great deal of discussion about it but on a personal note what it can do for you is that it can remove obstacles or things that have been in your way that have separated you from what you want. But it also removes the boundaries that you might have between you and the things you don't want. And so when you think of boundaries, you know, that could be, you know, uh, something that's physical where you are physically separated from somebody or where you are mentally saying, you know what, I'm not going to go to this place. I'm not going to allow this type of negativity to come in. And this is where Jupiter is dissolving those boundaries and maybe making you in some ways more open to things that's great or more vulnerable to things, which is not so good. So you what's really important is to be quite aware of where your boundaries are with other people with information with what you are taking in and then when you find that there is a problem then mentally spiritually um, even physically set up a boundary between you and what you don't want in your life also with the Jupiter and Pisces, we could see from a financial standpoint, an increase in um, uh, oil, uh, but also mining in general. So mining could mean that the gold reserves go up, that there's more gold out there or more interest in gold mining, but also Bitcoin is mined. So we might see an increase in Bitcoin mining as well. Eventually when Saturn gets into Pisces, then we'll see that contract again but right now it could expand and then speaking of no boundaries um of course pisces rules illness and so what we could have is that there's no boundaries between us and illnesses so there's there's more people who get something but this also could lead to some sort of herd immunity now again jupiter will be in the sign for a whole year in and out of the sign for a whole year and so that doesn't mean that this is going to happen in january i you know we just can hope that it happens by next december so it's it is though recognize again you're going to have to mentally or physically put up a boundary because the boundaries that you generally think are there aren't there right now and then on January 18th the north node backs up into Taurus and this is an 18 month transit uh, and this is uh, 
it's going to cover all those Taurus types of things that we deal with. So you don't have to be Taurus to feel this. Everybody's going to feel this. And so the first thing that I listed uh, is that we're going to be aware of what we lack. Uh, we're going to be looking at where we lack materially, where we lack in comforts, the, the things that we're just kind of looking around, seeing what we can get. So this does mean there may be some interruptions in the supply chain. You might go to the store and things take a long time. Well, I'm, I'm splitting it here. You might go to the store and not find the, sh the thing on the shelf. And then you might go over to Amazon and find it takes them a long time to get to you. But then the the opposite also is happening where you may look around your house and realize you have way too much stuff. It may not be the right stuff, the stuff you want <laughs> at the moment, but you might look around and say, this is too much stuff. And you, so you might be getting rid of stuff as well. So we may see this idea of, you know, there's lack, but then an increase in the simplicity movement or the minimalism movement over the course of this 18 months. Now, there is a great deal of focus on what you need and want. And, you know, and sometimes people struggle with this idea that they say, you know, like they want to want something, but it feels selfish. Or they will mix up needs and wants and say, well, I really need this when in actuality it is just a want. So we'll be looking at how we define those things and where we stand in the area of deserving you know, that's, that is, if we're feeling that we're worthy, if we're feeling we're deserving of the abundance that the universe has, then, then we open the doors mentally and spiritually and, and physically to allow that to come into our lives. But if we don't feel we deserve it, then when it does come to us, then we're going to do whatever we can to get rid of it. There will be a focus on material goods in an idea of keeping ourselves feeling secure. Um, the energy of Taurus is very much about certainty. There's a, a big desire to know what you've got and to know that it's going to be solid. So if we are so concerned about that, then there some, must be something external that's causing us to not feel so certain. So this might be inflation or, or again, supply chain interruptions. We're going to, with this aspect, also wonder if others think that we are worth their time or, you know, that, that there's, there's this big exchange going on, you know, like if you do something for someone, are they appreciative or are they paying you on time? Uh, so, and then what to charge for things. And of course, in an inflationary time, that's, that's really confusing because we can see that prices are going up and expenses are going up and we want to raise prices, but then, you know, your customers may be your friends as well. And so how do you raise prices in this sort of environment? So there's a lot here about, you know, feeling, you know, if you're worthy, but also wondering if others see you as worthy. So in this time of North Node going through Taurus, we may feel less inclined to give. And so, so therefore, you know, the other person now is, is wondering if they're worthy. And, and in general, we're, we're going to say to ourselves, you know, the things that we need are maybe not as available, may not be on the shelf when I need them, so I better hold on to them. And that could include the actual cash, the money itself. And also, of course, we may go back into our past and look at times where we felt unworthy or, you know, that we were told we weren't good enough or told that we, we shouldn't expect something. And so dealing with past traumas like this, dealing with past memories and, you know, getting the learning from it, but not going so much into the emotion of it, if that's at all possible. Of course, there's many great techniques on dealing with things like that, like tapping and um, uh, the, I think it's EMDR, which is the rapid eye movements. Um, there's, a, even acupuncture can help release some stored uh, emotions that are in the body. 
So, and then on the positive side, this North Node traveling through there is going to bring an increased appreciation for art and music and design and uh, interior design and nature and, and all those things that makes life so, so enjoyable. And, and so that's, that's where, again, we might see a rise of the simplicity movement of the, you know, getting into nature, you know, growing plants, growing, you know, herbs on your kitchen windowsill. The course of the whole transit, the 18 months, is all about figuring out what is important to us, what's, what's worth, you know, our time and our effort, you know, what do we value, and how, that, how we value ourselves more. And then finally, of course, next time that we talk, we're going to be talking about uh, the uh, Lunar New Year and entering into the Year of the Water Tiger. So I hope you will check out that video. And also uh, remember that I do readings. If you're interested in looking in depth in your chart, uh, if you need a copy of your chart, I'll just send you the, the PDF of your chart. And so that will help you find your rising sign. And by the way, as we go sign by sign, it's a good idea to look at your rising sign as well as your sun sign. And because that'll give you a more complete picture. And, 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 uh, I just wanted to say I'm doing tropical Western astrology. Um, I do have some videos on Chinese astrology on this channel, so you can check those out and that's it. Let's go sign by sign. Okay. Aries, you guys are doing this full moon lighting up your house of home and family. And so this is an area where you are looking at how you're giving love and how you're receiving love. This is very much about, you know, what your expectations are with your family, how things are going. Uh, you know, it's, it's causing you to look at where you could even celebrate with your family. Even if you don't necessarily get along so well, this, this is what this full moon is talking about for you. And so you, and this could also be loving the house itself, loving the dwelling or showing it love and having the house love you back by, you know, not needing so much maintenance or, you know, just making you feel safe and cozy. When we look at the North Node traveling through Taurus, it's going to go through your house of money, self-worth, possessions, values, things like that. So there is an, an increased emphasis that you have on figuring out how to handle money, figuring out how to bring in more money and what to do with it when you get it. So there may be some things here about, you know, how, how you feel emotionally or spiritually about having money. Do you have this idea that it's a win-lose situation or is it possible that there's a win-win situation going on? Is it that you feel uncomfortable when you have extra money, that you feel that you're vulnerable in some way, that the money will be taken or that others will look at you and think that you are, you know, uh, selfish or or greedy or something in those lines. And that can cause you to push away the opportunities of money. This also is about how much stuff you have. Do you have excess stuff? Do you not have enough stuff? And so this is you saying, you know, there are things that I want or need and I don't have them in my life and how do I get them? Or I, you know, that you have so much stuff that there's, you can't even move. There's like stuff everywhere. And so how do you clear out? How do you let go? So this is a very long transit well over this two week period. And so, but this is some of the things you're going to be working on just starting now. When it comes to relationships, they, there is a, there's not a lot of focus for you on this topic for the next two weeks. You seem to be really involved in your career and your reputation and, and meeting new friends. And so you may find that meeting new people is a little problematic where you can't get your schedules together. You seem to be missing each other or worse, you set up a time and then you miss it because you got busy doing something else. Now it's for your existing love relationships. I think that there there's a need to become united in some area. 
When it comes to existing relationships, what's important is to try to get on the same page. It looks like that you're both kind of moving in different directions, you know, kind of a divide and conquer, trying to get things done, but it's necessary for you to come together so that you can focus and get, you know, get real things done, important things done. Uh, so, and right now you seem to be split, uh, like, as I said, going in two different directions, but not maybe even informing each other. And so that can mean that, you know, you're rewashing something that didn't need to be washed or uh, trying to pay a bill, but somebody's already paid it or things like that. So I think that it, what's important is some increased communication between the two of you. When it comes to your home life, we already talked about that, how that moon is lighting up that house, but it's also interesting because the moon is making an inconjunct to the Mars. And so that is that you need to adjust somehow what you're doing in the house itself. That could be that you know, maybe you need some repairs done. So with some adjustments are happening that way, or you are spending a lot of time in one room, but it's too cold there. So you move to another room or that, you know, the, the family itself, there needs to be some adjustments where maybe kids are going back to school. And so now you have an empty house again, or maybe somebody's moving back in. And so you're making adjustments that way. So, so we do see that you know, it's not the most comfortable place, which is interesting since you have the full moon there where you were supposed to look for the things that you are grateful for, look for the benefits you do have in having this place. And that way, when it comes time to make the adjustments, then you understand how the balance is happening. When it comes to your money, it's ruled by that Venus retrograde in your house of career. And so we do see that there is some sort of money that has been owed to you, maybe through your career where it can now come to you or where you may be getting a different job or different position and that's finally coming through where you can now make more money. But it also may be that you are asking yourself if you're financially at some sort of plateau or there's a ceiling above you that you can't seem to break through, that maybe you should be looking for something else and considering even adjusting what you're doing for a living so that you can make more money in the future. So you do have some interesting money energy going on, by the way, that I do wanna point out because this could bring some opportunities and this is a little complex, but Venus is in Capricorn and Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn's in Aquarius, which is ruled by Uranus. Uranus is in Taurus, which is ruled by Venus which is in Capricorn. So, so the, all of your money opportunity uh, planets are like coming together to, you know, kind of mold into one unit. And, and it's so, it, how this can manifest in your life is that, you know, different things that you've been working on all seem to come together at once and seem somehow to be related. You know, like the friend that you kind of knew that you're getting back together with actually works for a company and they have an opening. And then another person tells you, you know, they just read a great book or saw a video on how to ask for a raise, you know, like everything comes together at once. So this is a time where you might you might be pulling something together consciously, or this might happen and you just kind of watch and say, wow, that's amazing that all this stuff sort of, you know, through synchronicity just came together, but really watch for some big opportunities because, you know, not, this is not an aspect that comes along very often. And over this next two weeks, you're gonna have this energy. Now, when it comes to investments done in a traditional manner or a business income or money from a family business or all, all kinds of passive income sources like royalties, residual marketing and things like that, the, uh, what you have is Pluto is pulling, uh, Pluto's, pull, Pluto's going one way very, very slowly as it always does, but, and then Venus is going the other direction. So they're pulling apart. So things that were easier before are now getting more difficult. And so one thing can manifest as is, you know, you if you were thinking that, oh, this client always buys every single month, now they're hesitating a little bit, you know, maybe they're saying their situation's changing or they only want half as much. 
you know, and the same thing with your investments. Maybe you were sure that, that a stock is going to go to a particular a height, but now you're kind of looking at it and saying, oh, I wonder if it has the energy or the volume. That would be the energy to go that level. So maybe you're seeing some drop off in affiliate income or network marketing income. So this is not something to you know panic about. This is more that right now these two are pulling apart and when they are apart, you have to work on other things and then they will come back together again because Venus will definitely catch Pluto. Now, when it comes to money derived from career, it's a whole different story. Venus is actually getting in a tighter and tighter trine with Uranus. Fantastic news. Mercury is, is retrograde in that house as well. And so it's pulling away from restrictive Saturn. So this is a great time over this next two weeks to ask for a raise or a bonus or, you know, better commission uh, percentage or, you know, more hours, any of the things that would lead to more money in your job, this is the time to ask for it. And that includes negotiating for a higher salary when you are looking for a new job. When it comes to uh, investments done in a very non-traditional or risky manner or investments that are inherently risky and those are the things that take a lot of time energy or money to get going and I'm going to include in the risky investments all the altcoins uh, not Bitcoin itself so much anymore if you are doing a buy and hold on that but the altcoins for sure are super risky and they seem to follow the trends that other markets do and so in the future i'm going to put together a video on that but in the meantime we're not seeing an aspect between the sun and venus in fact they are getting farther apart and so this is not a time to expect a lot of profits from this area uh, now the venus is elevated and so is the sun so there's an opportunity for more publicity you know like if you're opening a franchise or a restaurant or something or you're posting your videos uh, or your music online, you can get more followers, but we're not seeing a lot of profits. Okay, Taurus, where you guys are doing this full moon is in your house of communication and thinking process. And of course, neighbors and siblings and, you know, short distance travel. But more importantly, this is very much if about if you're speaking to yourself with love and compassion as much as you speak to others with you know showing them consideration and kindness so this is you looking at how you speak to yourself are you speaking very negatively are you super hard on yourself while you give other people a pass or do you you know are you mean to yourself and then you know lashing out at others too you know so this is about bringing in love and compassion and kindness and understanding into your communication. And that is what you say to yourself as well as what you say to others. Now, this is also about reaching out maybe with an olive branch to neighbors or siblings or, you know, cousins, you know, these, these relatives who are at a similar age to you to you know, if there, if there has been issues in the past to mend some fences, to, to connect on a deeper level, or to just tell them that you appreciate them. So the North Node's going to back up into Taurus, your own sign, and it's going to be there for a year and a half. And so there's very much this energy of you looking at what you're doing in your life and saying, you know, over the next year and a half, is this really what you've wanted to do? Is, is this the type of life that you wanted to have and if you say no it is to look at the smallest steps that you can take to shift your direction and i say small because taurus energy is not known for making gigantic big change so you already have uranus going through there and so you've you've probably made some big changes over the last couple of years anyway but where, where the easiest way for you to make a big change is actually to make it incrementally. Like if we're driving from LA to New York, but we get our, our 
compass off a few degrees, we can end up in Florida because over time it makes a difference. And so the North Node going through this, this area for you, your sign is to say, you know, what, what are your values? What do you value? And are you treating yourself well? Do you treat your physical body well? Are you giving it vegetables and vitamins and minerals? Or are you, are you just eating whatever and, and hoping your body can process it? So this is about you treating yourself like you're valuable. Now, when it comes to relationships, Venus is not making an aspect with Pluto, nor is it making an aspect with Mars. And so we see this, this kind of little holding pattern going on. For new relationships, this might be that there's just miscommunications happening, that you're just not getting together. You, or you look at, you know, the offerings that are there for, you know, like new love, and you just go, eh, not really wanting to swipe right on any of those people or you're not answering your emails or you let your whole account lapse so the again they you know i when when you're doing something like this it just means that your attention is elsewhere and so if you really want to work on relationships you just have to do it in a very mindful fashion because the aspects aren't supporting it it means that it just takes much much more concentration when it comes to existing relationships, the, the energy is interesting in that, you know, Pluto and Venus, while they're not speaking to each other, they are in the same house. And this is a house of philosophy and beliefs and, uh, you know, ideals. And so it is about trying to get on the same page, maybe politically or intellectually with your partner, where maybe you find that you guys are forking into two different directions and you need to come back and find what do you have in common? Where's the common ground? How can you have better discussions with less arguing about, you know, sports teams or, you know, uh, other, other things that seem insolvable. And when it comes to home and family, uh, so we have a little overlap because you might be living with that committed partner <laughs> so um so it's interesting because uh you do show some better relations with neighbors at this time or at least the possibility of that and so uh you know those are the people around your house uh, but in general what's going on is that you seem to be getting out of the house more and like you you want to leave you want to go someplace and so maybe you didn't get to go away for the holidays or maybe you did go away for the holidays and now the bug has bitten you and you really want to go somewhere. And so even if you're just taking a weekend skiing or going to the beach or you just you want to have something where you see something different, that's that's what this energy is. It's actually about getting out of the house rather than staying home. When it comes to your money, the North Node is leaving your house of money. And so that's good news because that means money, making money, having money is going to get easier. And that's because you have learned a bunch of lessons over the last 18 months and now you need to apply those lessons. And those could be on budgeting, investing, making money, and just maybe you just removed emotional blocks uh, around worthiness are deserving and now money can flow in. So I think that going forward, especially in the next couple of months when this energy feels so fresh, it feels like, like the restriction on something is lifted. And so I think you're going to feel much better. Now, the second house is pulling money from that Mercury, which is retrograde. And it's right at the top of your chart. So this may be that you are looking again at moving on to a different company or considering a promotion. And maybe you're weighing back and forth the idea that the promotion is going to be more work, but more money. Or moving means that you're leaving your friends, but you make more money. So you seem to be kind of going back and forth and trying to decide about something. That Mercury is pulling away from restrictive Mars. It is pulling away from that square to Uranus. So I do think in general, um, money is going to get not only easier, but you, there's going to be less emotional stuff that is blocking you. 
Now, when it comes to investments done in a traditional way or money that comes from a business, family business, or passive income sources, and that would include like, you know, profits from real estate or a network marketing company, the Mercury is doing a semi sextile with Jupiter and it is actually getting tighter. And that means that if you can step outside your norm and do something a little different, then you get the money. And so that is to look at whatever routines you have and maybe just put it in a different order. You know, maybe you call people at the beginning of the day, call them at the end of the day, or maybe you process your orders all on Monday, maybe do it on Friday. So do something a little different and it causes you to notice things or be more open. And that's, that's what brings this extra money. Now, when it comes to money derived from career, and this would be like a paycheck, Jupiter's now in your house of money derived from career, but it's a, there's no aspect going on between Mercury and Neptune. So it feels like there's some talk that maybe, you know, like I, I, a freeze is going to get lifted or that maybe you are discussing going into a new position, but the actual raise is not happening over this two week period. So I see a lot of hopeful talk happening and I think it will lead to something, uh, something concrete, but right now it's not leading to it at the moment. Now, when it comes to investments done in a risky fashion or truly risky investments, and these would be things like altcoins, um, you know, leveraged ETFs or borrowing money so you can invest in anything. Um, so that that is ruled by that Mercury retrograde at the top of your chart. And so this does say that you might be looking again at something you were doing before. Maybe it didn't work before, or maybe you just lost interest for a little while, or you got you know too busy to work on it. And now you're coming back to it to try it again. So now this, it says that there are some possibilities for some profits at this time because you're smarter, because you're coming back to it. You know, you have some experience with this. So, but you still need to be a little careful because Mercury's retrograde, which means you can make mistakes on paperwork or they can slip some sort of proviso in that you didn't see, or there's something, you know, especially around the communication that can go wrong. So be a little careful. Uh, you know, like especially with passwords or uh, keys or things that, you know, could let somebody nefarious into your accounts that that you do, especially during this time with Mercury retrograde, you want to be extra aware of. Okay, Gemini, you guys are doing this full moon, lighting up your house of money and self-worth and uh, feelings of, you know, well, worthiness. <laughs> <laughs> like those are two different things. And this is also your area of stuff, uh, material possessions. And this is where we are interjecting this Cancerian energy of love and acceptance. And so uh, starting, of course, with the most obvious, and that is learning to love and accept yourself. And that that is sometimes, you know, based on, you know, experience that happened when you were young or experiences that ha still happen, that can be a long process. And you may need some help with that. You may need to see a counselor or, you know, somebody to help you through that. It, but it is also, you can do a lot on your own through things like mirror work, where you look into the mirror and you tell yourself that you love yourself. Um, that comes from Louise Hay. Or you may be able to do some things with tapping or the rapid eye movements, the EMDR. So, but actually working on this is super beneficial and it's a two week period, but you could make some great strides in forgiving yourself, loving yourself, accepting yourself. And I, I can't tell you how much abundance you can receive just by taking that step. Now, when it comes to money, there is this energy of you putting love and acceptance into that as well. And that is to not be angry with yourself about how much money you're making or angry with the world because the world seems to have all the money, but to say 
that you are going to put out love and, uh, you know, put out who you are to, to give the world that gift of your value. And then the world responds by giving you something back. Now, this is also about taking care of possessions. So loving your possessions. And if you don't love them, if they don't spark joy, getting rid of them, it is about, you know, looking, if you are saying you love shopping in, and yet you're in debt, that then the thing you're loving is causing a problem. And so consider that maybe that, that idea of loving shopping is not beneficial for you and find something else to love, like walking in nature. When we look at the North Node that is now coming out of your sign, you are going to feel a great sense of relief. Now things in general will get easier, especially when it comes to relationships, partnerships, collaborations. So the thing that was holding you back is now shifting. And now this North Node is going to go into your house of rest, recuperation, uh, psychic ability, spirituality, and your shadow side, you know, that, that side of you that you might not want to look at. And so therefore you go towards distractions, uh, you know, escapism. And so over the next 18 months, you're working on these things. And that is, you may take a course in psychic ability or learn to use tarot cards, which by the way, I have a course, it's 90% done on tarot cards. So I do plan to get that out at some point. I'll, I'll be talking about that as it gets closer. So, but I'm very happy with the course. I just, I do need to do a few more videos and then I'll be done. Um, this is also about, you know, looking at what you do to escape and, and asking yourself if it's a healthy escape. I mean, if it's, if it's all, you know, deadly video games or worse, you know, de deadly substances, this is not great, you know? And so finding healthy ways to, uh, you know, get away from the day-to-day -day life so that you can process, process things. And that, it can be, you know, uh, as I always like to do, like go hiking, you know, go to the beach, go, go see the snow. If you've got snow where you are, um, you know, go, go play with animals. Uh, these are also very much this sort of uh, Taurus energy that you could do. When it comes to relationships, Mercury's making a semi-sextile to Jupiter. So you have some opportunities. Your house of intimacy is chock full. And so there is some real possibility, especially a uh, for taking a dating relationship and making that an intimate relationship or meeting somebody for uh, where you come together very, very quickly. Uh, so now it is a semi-sextile, so that could mean that you are uh, going to be dating somebody who's not necessarily your ideal match, but for some reason you're really clicking together. So, and maybe they weren't your ideal match on paper, but you find that oh, this person is pretty cool. <laughs> so, so there's something that's, that you are making an adjustment about. Uh, but when it comes to your existing love relationship, that energy is a little bit more about some ideological differences or some communication habits that you guys are falling back into that are not helping the relationship. But if you just tweak things, it gets much better. And so maybe you've been extra irritated, but you're taking it out a little bit on your partner or vice versa. Or maybe there's a couple things you need to talk about, but you haven't had the time or haven't wanted to sit down and, and really chat about it. When it comes to uh, home and family, you're repeating something because it's pulled pulls energy from that Mercury retrograde. So you're doing something over like, like maybe somebody was going to leave, but they came back or they did leave and now they're coming back or that, you know, you fixed something and now it's broken again, or maybe you were planning on moving and then you thought, no, nah, I won't, uh, you know, maybe you waited through the holidays and now you're going to really move. And so you're packing. So there's some sort of repetition of energy going on. When it comes to your money, you're pulling energy from that moon, which is opposing all of these planets in another house of money. So 
your money energy is quite strong this time now this may be that you are also getting past a block that you you have a breakthrough you see that you are deserving you are worthy of receiving more and so that ceiling that you had put on yourself is suddenly lifted and you're bringing in more money and so and some of this is how we connect money to other things if you connect it to you know oh money's more money's going to mean a lot of work or more money means i have to pay more taxes or more money means that other people are not going to like me those are the types of things that you want to see if you've got that belief and then to get rid of that belief when it comes to investments done in a traditional way or income from a business or a family business or passive income sources and those can be you know affiliate marketing or you know selling video courses you have a great house going on because it's venus pluto sun and so pluto's been there of course a while but you have the benefit of the venus sun but there is no aspect going on between the moon and saturn so what we have here is lots of money that's at the gate coming towards you but it's not quite here in this two-week period so if you were expecting a check from somebody they may say it's delayed or it just it goes to your old address or you know there there's something that's holding it back but that's i i don't feel that's something that you need to worry about so much because this is just energy that will line up it just hasn't lined up at the moment so and this is a great time though on the other hand to expand and find more investments expand your business um you know do more video courses do something where you are creating like like if you're if you have a net and you're throwing it out there and the fish are money this is a time to make more nets now when it comes to money derived from career it's a different story because you show the moon making an inconjunct to mars which is an aspect and we do need an aspect to get the money from out here into your accounts so that is that the there is some sort of adjustment you would have to make to get the raise or the increase and maybe that means getting a new job because now jupiter is going through your house of career or that the company itself is making some sort of adjustments they've opened up a new division and so you can slide into that or you might go to a whole new office or you may you know not see this supervisor anymore or maybe you're under a different supervisor so there's something going on in that uh, area that you do have some energy too in your house of professional certification and because mercury's retrograde there maybe you just had to get some paperwork done or you had to you know repass a test or get some community community education no it's called um continuing education and maybe you had to get that done and then this money is flowing in so it just says do this extra thing and you get more money when it comes to investments done in a risky manner or truly risky investments and those are the investments that most people would categorize as gambling or you know at least seriously speculation the moon is not making an aspect to venus and so therefore what we have is kind of a disconnect that means that right now risky investments are not going to pay off as well as traditional investments will and they traditional investments don't pay off as well as money from your career so if you really need money now it is just to have a job and if you want money in the near future and bigger money then work on your business or work on your investments and save the work on risky investments for another time and this is I'm seeing another time because this is ruled by that Venus retrograde and so th there's this idea that you have uh that's the time is of the essence and you have to get this done but you don't have all the information something's going to come out and you're going to see things differently so allow yourself a little bit more time before you commit real funds to this or commit any more time and energy okay cancer this is your full moon and so this is very much about loving yourself treating yourself with kindness treating yourself with acceptance and you know and then also being aware that if the people around you are not treating you with 
this love and kindness to go find people that are. Uh, it's, it's going to be too difficult to change these people, even if they're family members, you know, it's, it's just, I, and that doesn't mean that you leave your family, but it, it may mean that you step back for a little bit and allow those who do love and accept you to get a little closer to you. So, because this is your time, this is a time to focus on this. And as we focus on something, it expands. So if you focus on the positives and the love and the acceptance that you want to give and that you want to receive, then that's that expands in your life. And then those people, those relatives who are not doing this, they can get the message, you know, and I don't know if that's going to change some of the people because sometimes people are just very stuck where they are, but it does give you the, the results are that you have more love and acceptance, even though it's not from that particular person. So this might mean that you are doing meditations, that you are taking care of your physical self. And so that is that you're giving yourself nutritious food, that you are, um, you know, saying to yourself that you, you love and accept your body, that you recognize how, how great your body is at processing all the stuff that's going on. And while it may not be a perfect body, it may not be the shape that you want or the size you want or the, that, at the moment, you can still love your body and think it's amazing. Now we're going to see the North Node go into Taurus and now travel through your area of community, uh, the future, also friendships, technology. And so this is where your focus becomes for uh, you finding value. And that is, do you value the community that you're in? Uh, do, are they valuing you? If you offer your time and support is like a board member of a group or organization, like a group is different than an organization. <laughs> so, <laughs> to work on my vocabulary. <laughs> so, so if you are, feeling like you're devoting a lot of time and energy to a particular group, then you have to say to yourself, it, it, are you receiving something in return? Uh, is, is it mutual? And, you know, you may want to start a group during this 18 month period. You might want to um, look at how you interact with technology. You know, I, I've been doing technology for a long, long time. Uh, you know, um, I, I was in computers before I became an astrologer. And so I, I had recognized very early that if you treat a computer nice, you get, you get better results. So, uh, and maybe I should not be infusing technology with a spirit, but I think that, you know, everything has, everything's alive in some way. So, so this is a time to look at this, not with animosity, but with curiosity. Uh, this is also about your future. And so looking at future goals or how what you're doing now leads you towards what you want. When it comes to relationships, you have a lot of energy here for meeting new people, but the moon is not making an aspect with Saturn. And so you, it's probable that you're going to meet someone, but you may not get that first date in, in the two week period. That's okay. You know, you're busy, they're busy. And so just be understanding that you may not come together right away, but the energy for a new relationship is quite good. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, now the energy is more about kind of a discussion you might be having over finances and maybe you're not on the same page right now and you possibly you're not listening to each other. Maybe you need to just sit down and do the bills together. Maybe you're not trusting each other now and you have to get all of all the information out on the table of you know what you're spending and why you're spending on that or what your investment plans are and looking at risk tolerance and you know how you can find a balance if you don't have a high risk tolerance but your partner you know is ready to you know bet the farm how do you find a balance between those when it comes to home and family it's it's 
pulling energy from that Venus that's retrograde so something is repeating something's happening again and so that is maybe something was broken and now you uh, and then you fixed it and now it's broken again or that one of them broke but now the other one's broken if they're come in pairs uh you know like one side of the garage versus you know that little spring and then the other one breaks and so yeah <laughs> I can't think of a lot of things that come in pairs in a house but uh I'm sure if I sat down I could think of a few more but and this also could have to do with the comings and goings of people you know somebody left and now is coming back uh so that there could be some disruption that way um this this is mostly about interactions with others or dealing with things that are not working when it comes to your money you're pulling money from that sun going through your house of other people and so that is the more connections you make with other people whether that is uh you know in person or virtual uh, the more money you're going to make and so this is making a real connection this isn't just listening to them although there's there's a lot that can be gained you know listening to tutorials or well thought out videos on different topics but this is also about reaching out to someone and seeing if a conversation can happen see if your questions can be answered so this is a way for you to make money now it is also too about looking at the people in your life and seeing how they handle money and if you're impressed by that then taking their advice but if they don't handle money well then they may not be the person to take advice from so looking at it from that perspective but I do feel like more clients and customers could be coming to you at this time because this is in your house of other people when it comes to uh, investments done in a traditional fashion or money from your business a side business a family business or any sort of passive income sources the sun is not making an aspect to Uranus and so we see a little bit of a disconnect Mercury is retrograde in that house even though it's pulling away from restrictive Saturn it can mean that there are delays because Mercury retrograde just makes things really slow so the check is in the mail but you don't get it yet you know there's delays in processing an order or somebody comes and says they're going to buy a bunch from you but it doesn't happen or you're going to get a check from some platform paying you but now there's a 30-day delay or 60-day delay so there there's something that's holding things up and of course the more you work on this sense of loving self and being acceptant of self you open up yourself to the abundance of the universe so that's something while you're waiting for the check to come work on that because that can bring more checks so when it comes to money derived from career and that is like a paycheck the sun and venus are not making an aspect and the venus is separating from the sun so they're getting farther apart and so this means that it's not a good time to be asking for a raise even if the boss kind of hints that it is for some reason things are delayed they are held back or worse they that you get some sort of compromise that you have to do like you have to take a job you don't want to do to get the raise but now you feel obligated because you asked so right now this is more of a waiting game to see what they're gonna do it's only two weeks so I would just wait them out and see if whatever it is comes to light before you've actually made some sort of commitment now when it comes to investments done in a risky fashion like gambling or uh, doing inherently risky investments such as you know spending all your time writing your novel and then hoping it becomes a bestseller or buying a franchise but maybe it's not like a really great franchise you know like something that costs millions of dollars but a small franchise the sun is making a conjunction to Pluto that's a great energy so that is one of the one of the ones you want to make something happen I of course do want you to be very very careful because Pluto is like like a holding on to a fire hose you know it can take you sailing off in multiple directions and that can lead you you know 
a little bit out. I mean, it's not even a little, it's way out of control. So, but there are some potentials here for the person who's being careful. And that is whenever you're doing a risky investment, you want to make sure that you're very aware of the downside as well as the upside. And so how far, how much money could you potentially lose versus how much could you gain? So there are some great books on making decisions. I like the ones by Annie Duke. And so I've mentioned them on my channel before. Uh, so I really recommend reading that so you can capitalize on periods like this when there is good energy. Okay, Leo, this full moon is lighting up your area of uh, your shadow self, that inner part of you that you don't show to yourself or the world very often. This would include uh, your hidden talents as well. This is also rest, recuperation, escapism, uh, psychic ability, uh, spirituality. The things that you would do behind closed door doors now has a huge spotlight on it and it's a spotlight that can be seen by others as well as yourself which means that during this full moon time which is a two-week period a secret or two could come out and most of the time when secrets do come out in the long run it's beneficial you know it's because if if nothing else then others see that you have a vulnerability and that makes them more able to relate to you, especially you guys who have strong Leo. You know, sometimes you can seem a little perfect, so this can help people relate to you. But I know it's super uncomfortable to have secrets revealed, and so this is a time where you do want to maybe control the message, and so that is that you are saying to people, you know, you tell them what the secret is so that they don't find out. This is also about, you know, rest and recuperation, and that is treating yourself well, treating yourself with kindness. If you are procrastinating on something, you're probably just tired, you know, and it would be better to take a 20 minute nap and then work on whatever it is rather than, you know, kind of halfway doing something. And then this is the, this hidden part of you, the, this, this is the shadow side of you. And so beaming love and acceptance, even to your dark side, that, that is, you know, what you need to do at this time to completely accept yourself, flaws and all, and just remind yourself that when you realize that, you know, you're doing something that maybe is not so good, that you strive then to do better. And that's, that's what the Maya Angelou always says is, you know, when we know better, we do better. Now the North Node going into Taurus is going to travel through your house of career for a year and a half. And this is very much about realigning yourself towards a more of a sense of destiny. And by destiny, I mean potential. I don't mean that it's absolutely going to happen. We get choice. This is a free will planet. And so that means that even if someone says it's your destiny to sing or to be rich or any of these things based on the chart, know that that's a potential that you have, but you can also sleep through it. So now for the next 18 months, you have opportunities to meet the right people who could lift you up, to get with the right company or to start a business that really takes off. So you have all of this energy now lining up. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be easy. The North Node going through a, a sign just puts our attention on it. it. doesn't necessarily give us all the answers. So although we do tend to have all the answers when it's finished in the 18 months. So, but that's usually because we worked so hard at it. When it comes to relationships, uh, the sun's not making an aspect with Uranus, so things are not really lining up, but you do have the very interesting thing of Mercury retrograde going through that house. So what could happen is instead of meeting someone new, you're meeting somebody old and not chronologically, but someone you knew before. So someone you knew before could be coming back into your life and you're deciding whether you want to try again with this person. So that's why we're not seeing strong energy for meeting someone new, but meeting someone you already know. Now, also though, when we are looking at 
a your existing love relationship, if you're already in a relationship, then the discussions are about past loves or about the past. So you might be really caught up in, you know, rehashing some old arguments, or maybe there's kind of a blame game going on of you said this a year ago or 10 years ago, or somebody from the past comes from a past love and now there's tension between the two of you because you are talking about this person or this person's actually interjecting themselves. Now, when it comes to home and family, everybody seems very close together. The sun's making a conjunction with Pluto. And so, you know, everybody's coming together, gathered around for some purpose. And this purpose could be to help somebody in the family or to send them off to college or to, um, you know, maybe everybody's gathering up stuff and moving to a new location but everybody's coming together for an important project and while they are you might want to institute a family game night or dinner at the dinner table or something to pull everything everybody together on a more regular basis outside of this two-week period when it comes to your money you're pulling money from that mercury and that is retrograde in your house of other people which means that somebody is coming back or that someone who was a customer now is bringing with them more people like referring you this can mean that an old source of income is coming back into your life or you're needing to investigate different sources of income that you had looked into before but for some reason or another the timing wasn't right and now it's better this is also a reminder for you during this time that the more people you meet, the more you connect with, the more money you can make. So even, even people who don't directly bring you money may give you the ideas or the energy to go pursue more. Now, when it comes to investments done in a traditional manner or income from a business, family business, side business, or passive income sources like rental income or royalties, the Jupiter is now going to go through that house on and off for the next year. So that means that you've got all of these expanded opportunities, but currently Mercury's not making an aspect with Neptune. So we see the opportunities, they are out there, but the actual payday doesn't come within the two week period. So I think you're making about the same as usual, or there's a tiny bump up because that Jupiter is in Pisces. So that helps activate that. But right now, I think that the bigger money is coming outside the two week period. When it comes to money from your job, uh, which we call, uh, <laughs> I forgot what we call it, <laughs> money derived from career, uh, the North Nose now left that house. That's fantastic. Uh, or it will leave in a moment. And so that actually means that it's going to be easier for you to get a raise. Now it is going to go into your house of career, which means that despite the fact that you're getting a raise, you may not want to stay there or you may not want to even stay in that profession. So that's where the bit of the challenge comes in. So, but the Mercury retrograde ruling this house does say that if you were promised to raise before, now it's going to come through. But if you are promised to raise during this two week period, it's going to be delayed. So in general, what we see is it's going to be easier going forward for this whole year to make more money in your career, but it won't be all the time. It'll be on and off. Uh, and if you were promised something, now it's finally coming through. And then when it comes to investments done in a very risky way or really risky investments, and those would be things that are quite volatile, that are, you know, derivatives of something or highly leveraged or things you'd have to really explain to your grandma that you are doing a semi sextile between Jupiter and Mercury. And that semi sextile is actually getting tighter because Mercury is retrograde. So you have an opportunity if you are waiting for a payday that that payday could come to you. But actually, since you are the more Mercury person in this case, you probably have to go to it. But it does look like something that you were either working on before and you are working on again or something that was delayed is now starting to come through. So we do see you have a potential of making more money during this period than usual, but do be very careful because risky investments are risky. 
Okay, Virgo, you guys are doing this full moon in your area of friendships, community, the future, and technology. And so this is what needs your attention right now. And it not only needs your attention, it needs you first to love and accept yourself about these things, um, but also to look at the people that you have in your life that are connected to these things and see if you are giving love and receiving love. And that is if you are in a group or organization and they're not appreciating you, even though you're working hard or that you're not treated well in general, maybe it's time to leave that organization. Or if you are really loved and accepted in an organization, but you're not connecting with those people, maybe it's time to go to those meetings, you know, even if they are on Zoom. So it's, this is also about you know, taking good care of your technology. And that is to know how to use it, to make sure that it's generally dust free and it's not chewed up by the dog or, you know, that sort of thing. The, this is you looking at your future as well and looking at your future from a perspective of if you are loving to yourself and kind to yourself, what are you wanting in the future? Not where you are, you know, just being a taskmaster to yourself and saying you have to achieve so much, but also, you know, accepting yourself and knowing you have talents and abilities and you, you have, you have a bright future if you believe in yourself. So the North node is leaving your house of career, crossing your midheaven and going into your house of belief systems, ideals, travel, um, also legal matters and education. And so when the North node crosses this point, it usually signifies some sort of major change. And you probably have already done that over the last 18 months, you've probably changed careers in some way, or there's been some big change in the company you work for. But if it hasn't happened yet, then over the next month or so, it really could. Now, this also might be that you are shifting from what it is that you were doing, now looking at maybe getting educated to do something else, or perhaps you want to be somewhere else. And so now you might be looking at how you can do your job from a foreign country, or maybe just being in a rural location to do your job. Maybe this is about getting some sort of professional certification, um, and that could be for a main business or a side business, like becoming a notary. So we're seeing this North Node travel through there, giving you all these different ideas. And most of these are going to take a long time to manifest, but that's why it goes through for a year and a half. When it comes to relationships, uh, you're doing some mixed energy here because Mercury is not making an aspect to Neptune, but it is making an aspect to Jupiter and Jupiter's in Pisces, which is ruled by that Neptune. So it's kind of like there's, there's a stepping stone you have to do. There's a few extra steps you have to take to make something happen. And that is maybe you're meeting somebody through somebody else that you're not meeting them so directly, or you have to double date, or you're going to a party and you meet them there. So there's, there's something that's a little bit disconnected here. And if you can connect the dots, then you can meet somebody new. When it comes to your existing relationships, now we see that it's probable that there's some miscommunication going on, that that's where you're not coming together, that you're not keeping each other in the loop, or that you are just, you're in some you know, like poor communication habits where maybe you're arguing with each other when you don't mean to, or you're in kind of a rut where you're not talking about important things. So this is the thing that Mercury retrograde really excels at you know, it, it pulls you back to go over something that maybe has gotten a little sloppy or has, has just fallen apart and you get to put it back together. Now, when it comes to home and family, Mercury is making a semi-sextile to Jupiter. And because Mercury is going backwards, the semi-sextile is getting tighter. So that means the family who may be scattered as soon as the new year happened, are coming back together and doing more things together. And so that might be that you're coming together for some sort of celebration. Maybe there's a birthday or anniversary, or there's, you know, you're just pulling together for some projects. So it, this is something where you want to kind of grab everybody and say, you know, we're, we're not quite all on the same page, but through some communication, you can get there. 
Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from that Venus, which is retrograde, which is this reminder to go over what you have gone through before. So that is, first of all, like open up all your statements, go through all of your investments, uh, your income, look and make sure they're taking the right amount out of your accounts, you know, look and make sure you're not paying too many fees for things. Look at how you're spending. Are you, do you have duplicate subscriptions or are you paying for a subscription you don't need? And most of the time, you know, we buy these things on an annual basis and you have to get in there and find where you can you know, click the little toggle so that it doesn't automatically update. So this is the best time to be working on this sort of stuff now. Now, it also says that because Venus is retrograde, that some money-making opportunities coming back into your life. And so you get a chance to re-examine that and see if it is right for you. Um, this could be that somebody's offering you to get into business with them or to do some sort of investment and maybe some of the information has changed. Maybe you have more information and so maybe you'll make a different decision. When it comes to investments that are done in a traditional way or uh, money from a career, <laughs> sorry, not money from a career, but money from a, a business, a side business, a family business, or residual income, um, you know, affiliate income, those types of incomes. Uh, Venus is not making an aspect with Mars. And so there, there is you working at things, but you might be feeling very impatient that things are going slowly. And so you may be considering jumping into something that's far more risky. And so because Venus is retrograde, really don't jump right now. Venus is retrograde, Mercury is retrograde. That's too much retrograde that you may feel uh, some remorse after you've taken some dramatic action. So do be careful about that. But you might want to look at this with a discerning eye and say, well, why am I disappointed by the returns that I'm getting on my investments? Is there something different I should be doing? And then consider implementing that maybe later in February when the, these retrogrades are not there and happening. Uh, so... And when it comes to money derived from your career, and that's a paycheck, this story is fairly similar because the moon is not making an aspect with Venus. And so therefore, again, it's like a miss that's happening. You know, you would say to yourself, oh, I'm gonna ask my boss for a raise, but then your boss is on vacation. Or this is the moment where they did some sort of freeze on raises, and so you just, it, the timing is off. Now, it, it does say that, you know, instead of focusing on getting more money from your job, maybe look at what you can do more creatively. So, and perhaps that can bring you some money or at least bring you some personal satisfaction. And then finally, when we look at risky investments and or investments that you do in a risky manner, and so where they are more speculative or gambling, Venus is making a semi-sextile to Saturn. And so, and, and they're, they're actually separating a little bit, but this is a really tight aspect so, because they're at the same degree. So this does mean that looking at where you're uncomfortable about the investment and really, you know, if it's a lack of knowledge, a lack of understanding, get that information. Uh, but if it is that the downside is too much, then see how you could mitigate that downside. You know, what, what counter things can you do to keep it from falling through the floor if it goes that direction? And this is not about looking with blind faith uh, because this is a semi-sextile. This is more looking at where the thing seems to be not perfectly lined up and see how you can get it to line up better. But otherwise, this is an area where you could make more money over the next couple of weeks. So, but do be careful because it's a risky investment. Okay, Libra, you guys are doing this full moon in your house of career. And so this is where love and appreciation needs to be exchanged. And so starting with this idea of loving and appreciating yourself, but out in the world. And that is that, that you 
approach the world with a sense that you have value that that you are worthy to be in this world you're worthy for you know of having abundance and this will give a response from the world to say oh yes you are and here you go and this is different than having a big ego this is to say that you know as you feel worthy you understand that others are worthy as well and so you know a rising tide lifts all boats now this also can be that you might be looking at how you can be loving and appreciative of the career you're in and if you find that that cannot be then to look at yourself to say all right i should be doing something else so you know it is possible too that you are considering how much the people that you work with you know who are in your career or you know in your office are loving and appreciating you and again if you're finding that that is not happening and you don't see a way for that to happen then you might not be in the right place so so this is just it, this is a time maybe less of making a big change but more of deciding to make a change and you know we know that Libra you tend to weigh things and so you need to know the, the you know the positives and the negatives of making a big change and this allows you to make a really good decision but it can take you some time to do so that's that's why you're collecting this type of information whereas maybe on a regular day you would be collecting information of you know am i getting compensated financially are there good perks you know is the office helpful you know are are people supportive of each other but now we're looking at actual caring an actual sense of you know people valuing and appreciating each other and so this is looking at your career from a different standpoint now the north node going into taurus means it will be traveling through your house of investments um, passive income sources as well as business income and intimacy so now the intimacy part means a about you getting very personal with an individual and we don't really talk about this much on this channel because we focus more on the material side of things but uh, it does mean that you are exploring these possibilities either in your existing relationship or finding a new relationship now uh, when it comes to investing you are going to probably spend a year and a half discovering new types of investments how to make these investments whether you think these are going to grow or if they offer you a level of certainty for the future you know like an inflation hedge you may be looking at getting rid of debt so bill consolidation or reducing interest rates getting rid of student loan debt um, also funding a business or uh, expanding your business in some way so uh, the north note is going to give you many many different tiny little lessons about this and so you're in a growth period uh, in this whole area and so I know that lessons sound like a drag or even can sound scary but this is the thing that causes us to grow so you want to make sure that you stick with the growth mindset if you're not familiar with that concept I'll leave a link to the mindset book in the description when it comes to relationships Mars is not making an aspect with Venus and so what we see here is a great deal of focus elsewhere uh, you're not necessarily um, you're not really connecting so much with new people that means you might be you know talking to them by text or by phone but there's there's not a lot of time or even inclination for you to meet somebody new during this time because the energy is not just not lining up it would be better to wait and actually have that first meeting when things do line up and they will and uh, so so if you're looking to meet someone new just stick to phone calls emails texts and things like that for the time being now if you are in a, a long-term relationship this means that there's some sort of miscommunication going on so that means that you might be very clear about what you're saying but the other person is misunderstanding that because maybe they have different definitions for those words so 
and and that can cause a problem or that can be the problem where you send off a text and you think you're sending it to one person but you actually send it to many people and so be aware that that there is some miscommunications going on between you and your beloved at this time when it comes to home and family we have a great deal of focus in this area and that's that's where your attention really is uh, because your chart ruler uh, venus which is retrograde is going through that house and that means that you are thinking about moving or helping a family member move you could be quite focused on um you know cleaning out the house decluttering you might be um doing some home renovations or you know maybe somebody in the family is thinking about moving in or somebody's moving out so there's there's some sort of almost chaotic energy going on but you see that it has a purpose and so it looks like you're quite focused on getting things done of course with venus retrograde this could be a repeat of some energy from the past when it comes to your money you're pulling money from that pluto which was doing the aspect with venus but venus now retrograde has pulled away and so some of your focus some of your intensity might not be there and so if you're asking yourself you know like you were getting a whole bunch done and you were really focused on it and now you're not that energy is going to come back so it's it's just maybe you're taking a little breather processing things etc now also of course your second house is co-ruled by Mars which is in Sagittarius in your house of agreements contracts and communication and so this can be that you are re you know re-looking no just looking just looking at your communication uh as you are sending out your posts you know what your website says maybe you know explaining things in a different way or advertising some new product or service uh, this also could be that you are signing some sort of agreement maybe to get some uh, help you know some contract help or that you are looking for a new job and now you're in that contract negotiations part of the job when it comes to investments that you do in a traditional manner or uh, business income or income that comes from some passive source like real estate rental income or royalties residuals that sort of thing uh, Venus as we just talked about is separating from Pluto and so there there's the sense that it's you know that things are a little bit out of reach right now like you you were making some good money and everything was going and so just like the tides now now the tide is going out and there's a little bit of a lull and this you know part of business and being in business is this understanding that sometimes every everything rushes in at once and sometimes it goes out and so we'll, we need to too when the tide is going out is to work on the business itself and that is you know to uh, uh check and make sure that you've answered all your email that you've automated what you can you know that you are having good communications with your your employees and the same thing with your investments to look at your investments and say you know am I still happy with this investment is there a way to get the fees less you know is there a different way to do this investment so this you know <laughs> I just slipped so this energy is going to line up again in the near future uh, so but right now you're in a little bit of a lull now when it comes to money derived from career you do show some really good prospects because the sun is making a conjunction to Pluto and this means you could get more money either from more hours or more per hour a raise a bonus some sort of increased commission so there is some really good energy here now Jupiter which is now recently in Pisces is going through your house of work so that does say that you probably are going to get more hours even if you're a salaried person so you can expect yourself to be working quite a lot and that's again where looking for what you can streamline or eliminate is very helpful and that's you know because you have that Scorpio influence in your house of money it's really helpful for you to always be looking at what you can let go of as a way to focus your energy so this your prospects for making more money from your career look really excellent over the next two weeks 
Now, when it comes to risky investments, and these are the things that uh, take you a lot of time, energy, or money to get going, or traditional investments that you do in a risky fashion, and that would be like borrowing money to make an investment. Um, because every time you, you leverage that, you know, it, the upside's good, but the downside could be terrible. So these we consider risky investments. Now, Mars is making a sesca quadrant to Uranus. And so we're looking at the co-ruler of your second, making a sesca quadrant to that ruler. And these are not incompatible signs. So this is the like the hardest of the sesca quadrants, which is not a pleasant aspect uh, anyway. However, you know, I always look for an aspect. Without an aspect, the money that's out here can't get into your account. So you have an aspect that's great, but this one is really challenging. This is kind of like doing something that's super uncomfortable to get a reward. It's kind of like running a marathon for a slice of pie, not even the whole pie, just a slice of pie. So that's that's why you know this is a little bit challenging energy this time additionally mercury is retrograde in that house so you want to be quite careful because mercury retrograde can pull the rug out from under you for some reason so it's it's a lot of work for little return so you may want to wait until this lines up in a in a better fashion and it will Okay, Scorpio natives, you guys are doing this full moon right at the top of your chart. It is lighting up your house of education, philosophy, and deep thinking, legal matters, travel. But because it's so elevated, it's also going to put a little spotlight on your career and your reputation. So you you kind of get extra. <laughs> like, like the spotlight is right over your head. And so this means you're extremely easy to see. So, which is wonderful if you're posting a job or, uh, if you want to teach a class or you want to get into a class that's difficult to get into like, because people can see you. On the other hand, if you are posting things that are very controversial or you're making a mistake, it's also seen. So that's where, you know, it's, it's like a good, bad thing. So not that making a mistake, even in public is so terrible. You know, most of the time we can just learn from it. Uh, so, but this is, you know, if you're intending to put out something that's controversial or negative, or that's going to elicit a negative response, it's really going to get big. And so you do want to be careful about that at this time. It's, it's very hard to be incognito, which, you know, Scorpio guys, you usually like. So if you want to, you know, fly into the radar, it, this is, this is not the time because the, the big beam is on you. Now, the North Node's going to be going into Taurus, and that's going to travel for a year and a half through your house of relationships. And so this is going to bring you all kinds of relationships. New people are gonna come into your life for you know personal relationships, friendships, partnerships, collaboration, all types of relationships. And some of these, you know, the majority of these are going to be great. Some will be a little adversarial. So because when we say all relationships, we do mean all. So there's going to be occasionally people that you, you know, have some, some issues with, or they have issues with you. So, but this is a year and a half aspect. And Again, it's not something that you have not dealt with in the past in some form or another. And if you are, you know, in your mid thirties, you have absolutely done this before, uh, or, you know, mid thirties or older, uh, this, it, this energy will bring you the types of relationships that could bring real meaning into your life. And along with it, it does bring some challenges with, especially with the, the times that we live in. So how do you meet someone and make a deep connection when it's online? And so these would be the types of things that you're working out over this, these, this period. And, and then also you're looking at you know, where you feel lack in this area, you know, if you feel like you need more friends and how to get more friends or, you know, how, how others are seeing you and what your values are. So when it comes to relationships, you know, the, 
uh, Pluto is not lining up with Venus, nor is Mars. And so we do have energy right now that there, this is more in the theoretical zone. It is not necessarily all this, uh, you know, that you're meeting someone over this two week period. It is more likely that you are getting clear on who you want to meet and waiting for that Venus to come back and make an aspect to both Pluto and Mars. And you know, you don't need both, you just need one, but uh, this Venus will be back, but it's still retrograde. So what could happen is someone from your past returns, but then you discover that they haven't grown that much or the relationship dynamic between the two of you hasn't changed that much and you just fall into an old pattern. And so then you get to test those waters, but you may say, uh, this isn't really worth it. Whereas when new people come into your life over the next two weeks, you might find it's very difficult to get them into your schedule or for them to get you into their schedule. When it comes to home and family, you are doing some challenging energy this time because not only is Mercury retrograde in this house, but also Mars is making a sesco quadrant to Uranus and of the two types of sesco quadrant, it's the more challenging one. So if you're trying to buy a house, you do have some big hurdles to go over. If you're trying to sell a house, uh, it's possible that your buyer is going to disappear. So now, you know, most of those things, while you know, very intense in the moment. They, you know, another buyer comes along, another house to buy comes along. So, but this is challenging energy, especially true to, <laughs> especially because you, you have a lot of energy going on in your area of contracts. Now there can also be something that breaks in the house that is a fairly crucial system. And this is something that broke before. And so that can be really frustrating. So, you know, if, if you are very dependent on a heating system, if you're in a part of the, the world where it gets very cold, you do want to have some sort of backup or another place to go in case you lose power. Um, this is also saying that there could be some disruption where somebody's moving in or moving out of the house, or maybe you're moving yourself. And so you're trying to get everything packed and you're rushed. And so, so this is where we see most of your energy focused is in this, this area right at the base of your chart. And so call in friends, call in family members to help you out. Don't do this all by yourself. So when it comes to your money, now we have good news because Mars is still in your house of money, which is giving you this, this kind of push to go make more money. Jupiter is now in Pisces and in a money house for you. And it will be there on and off for a year. And the South node is leaving this house. So all of a sudden, all of these things that were so hard to figure out and so hard to manifest suddenly start coming through. And so I think you're going to start to see that that start as a trickle over the next two weeks, and then it's going to grow and grow. So a lot of the things you've been working on that have been giving you very small results now seem to blossom. So that's fantastic. Now, the only caveat I have for you is that Jupiter and Pisces can get very complacent. And so you don't want to rest on your laurels and say, wow, now everything's just flowing in and that you don't have to do anything because Jupiter is not in your house of, or not pulling from Pisces very long. Okay. I said all that backwards because Jupiter is going to go into your house of work at some point during the year. And so then all of a sudden there's this tidal wave of things that you need to do. So this is not a time to rest on your laurels, but instead get systems in place so that when you do scale that you can handle it. When it comes to uh, investments that you do in a traditional way or money from a business or passive income source, and that would be like royalties, affiliate marketing, residuals, stuff like that. Uh, Mercury is making a semi-sextile to Jupiter. Let me just check that. Yes, <laughs> semi-sextile. And because Mercury is retrograde, they're actually, this aspect's going to get tighter, which is better for you. Now it's still a semi-sextile, which says that there's something that's pulling you a little bit out of your comfort zone, or it's something you don't really want to do, but that's the thing that leads you to money. So maybe that is going through your statements, or maybe it's phoning up people to put them on a payment plan 
or it is sitting down with your broker to discuss strategy, or maybe it's taking on more of your uh, investment decisions and not leaving it to someone else. So there's something that is, uh, you know, a little bit of a task or a little irksome that you have to do, but when you do, you make money. When it comes to money derived from career, of course, uh, Mercury is retrograde. And so money that's been promised to you in the past may now be coming forward. Now, this again is that semi sextile with Jupiter. And so that means that along with the rays, they may be adding on some extra tasks for you to do or telling you to work with someone you don't really like to work with or come into the office when you wanted to stay home. So there's some sort of little strings attached. And so you need to weigh that with you know how much you want and maybe do some negotiations but you can make more money over the next two weeks now when it comes to investments done in a risky way and that is generally you know where you're borrowing money to do an investment or the investment itself is highly leveraged so it has a huge downside um, you know or the uh, you know you're doing something that takes an awful lot of time and energy and so you're kind of rolling the dice to see if it's going to work jupiter is not making an aspect with neptune although they are in the same sign now and so we do see some compatibility uh they co-rule pisces together and so again we see some compatibility they're not literally talking to each other and so my concern is that that there's a big promise of money you know the money is out there but it's still having a little trouble getting into your account and that could be that it is held by some third party or it's just not time for you to you know push the sell button on it yet so it's you know continue to be cautious as you move forward on this if this is something though that you're putting a lot of time and energy on like you're writing your novel or working on your music this is a time to really put in the effort to practice but maybe not the time to launch yet and wait because there are going to be some periods of time where this lines up better Okay, Sagittarius, you guys are doing this full moon, lighting up your area of resources from others. That's investments, business income, as well as intimacy. And so that is finding a, a partner to be intimate with, uh, to really connect on a deep level. So, so that's all lit up for you. And that means that, you know, if you're looking to uh, get into a love relationship or take your relationship to that really personal level, that's a great possibility over the next two weeks. Now, when it comes to investing, uh, there's this big spotlight on it now. And that might be that you realize that it's time to look at investments, decide maybe about employer sponsored investments like a 401k or their stock purchase plan, or maybe you have you know, finally decided to do some tutorials on Bitcoin or NFTs. And so you're looking into those types of things. Now, I'm not saying that this is something that you should invest in. Uh, first of all, I'm not a stockbroker, so I'm not an investment advisor. I, I'm your astrologer. So, uh, so first of all, let's focus on that. But the second is, this is just where the spotlight is. So this is just where your attention is. And so if the universe is pointing to a direction, they are saying investigate. They are not necessarily saying this is the decision you should make about it. That's where a lot of people get confused about signs in general. You know, sometimes the sign is just to open up a possibility so that you can make your own decision. Now, when it comes to the North Node, it's now going into Taurus and we'll travel for a year and a half through your house of work and health and uh, routines, uh, your habits. And so you have about that long to you know, work out the different things about these areas. And that is how to make better routines in your life so you get the things done that you want, how to have good, healthy habits, and how to streamline your work so you get everything done so you have some work-life balance. So over the next year and a half, you'll get lots of lessons in this area, lots of opportunities to learn and grow. And I mean, that's that's what you love to do Sagittarius you love to learn and grow and so you're going to get the that's where the focus is going to be now 
you know, of course, this is going through Taurus. And that is where you are saying to yourself, like, if you value yourself, then you would then want to put good healthy food into your system because you know like if you had a nice car you'd put good gasoline into the car etc so that's that's the thinking around that or if you value yourself you're not going to work in a job that you really dislike or where you get treated badly so that's that's where you're going to pull in that taurus energy now, when it comes to relationships, um, Mercury is making a semi-sextile to Jupiter. And because Mercury is retrograde, it could bring someone from your past. And that means that instead of a new love, you're either meeting someone that you, you knew before, maybe in a different capacity. Maybe you worked together, maybe you were friends, or maybe you did you know, go out. Maybe you were even married to that person before, and now they're back. Or this person so reminds you from, of someone from the past, you are in a sense repeating that energy. Now that the North Node is crossing that ascendant descendant line, you are more noticeable than usual. So even though this is just a semi style, you have a real opportunity over the next two weeks of reconnecting with this person, the person from your past. So, and this gives you a chance to see you know, how much you've grown, if they've grown, and see if it can work out. When it comes to your existing relationships, the semi-sextile that with that Mercury retrograde could mean that you are having an old disagreement that is come up again. So, and this could be something that you thought was resolved or that you've just discussed so many times that you're kind of in a loop about it and you need to look at some new way to break the pattern. And that is that maybe you break the pattern by saying that, you know, you're going to look at it from a whole new way. Like, instead of having the same argument, why not switch roles and you argue for the other person's side and let them argue for your side and see then if you can't find a way to break the pattern. But because it's a semi-sextile, you know, you're, you're together, but you're kind of irritating each other. When it comes to home and family, Jupiter's now in Pisces, going through this house, bringing some protection to this area. That means if something happens, then a solution presents itself. So if something breaks, you find a great repairman who gives you a good price. If you do have to move, you end up in a better place. So Jupiter's protection is interesting because uh, it doesn't stop the thing from happening, but brings you a great solution. So look for that if things are going wrong. But in general, what we see is more peace and harmony at home. There is still some, some contention because we just talked about that semi-sextile energy with Mercury. That is still happening. But there's, you know, things are getting better at home in general. When it comes to your money, your money house is full. So you have Venus, Pluto, and the sun there. And of course, your money, you're pulling money from that Saturn in your house of communication. So we see money opportunities coming from multiple sources. Now, Venus is retrograde. So that could be a source that you are familiar with that you've had before. The Pluto has been there for a long time. So that is eliminating distractions and money blocks will help you make more money. And the sun is there bringing you money opportunities from your talents and, you know, things that you really enjoy doing. So there's, there's so many different ways you could be making money. And so that's where a lot of your focus is in this month, you know, like looking at how you handle money, what you do with the extra money, you know, how to get extra money. So, uh, and looking at the world almost in a sense through the, that lens of money opportunities to say to yourself, you know, uh, oh, that's that's a really irritating problem. I wonder if there's a business idea there. Or, you know, here's a person whose needs are not getting met. I wonder if there's a business opportunity. Now, when it comes to business income or um, money from uh, investments that are done in a traditional way, the, you're making about the same as usual because the moon is not making an aspect with Saturn. So we're seeing 
basically more money opportunities that manifest outside the two week period and more of a sense that you're just working on the business or you're sending out proposals or you're working on your investments, but you're not really ready to cash in yet. And the money is not necessarily ready to reach your accounts. So, uh, and that's okay because that, that will shift pretty quickly. But right now, this is more of doing the work and then the reward comes a little later. Now it's a different story when we look at uh, money derived from career because Venus is making a semi sextile to Saturn and because uh, Venus is uh, at the same degree as Saturn it's very very close. Now Venus is retrograde which means you probably have tried this before maybe asked for a raise or maybe you were promised a raise but now you can make it happen. So when two planets are at the same degrees they're really talking to each other a lot and the with this yes it's a semi sextile so it does say you don't really necessarily want to go and ask again or they don't necessarily want to give it to you but if somebody does the hard thing then there's success and happiness for everybody so and this is not some you know huge mountain to climb this is just a little rock in your shoe you gotta stop take your shoe off find the rock, get it out of your shoe. And that's, that's the same thing. You just have to find the boss, sit them down and say, you know, a few months ago we were talking about a raise. Now's the time let's do it. And then it happens. Now, when it comes to investments done in a very risky manner or highly uh, speculative investments, those are things that are leveraged or you're borrowing money uh, to do the investment uh, or, you know, like selling, selling stock short, which is highly, highly risky because you can lose a lot more than your initial investment. So anything like that would fall under risky investments. Mars is not making an aspect to Saturn. So we don't have a connection or a clear way for money out in the world to get to your account. So this is a time to focus on things that you are familiar with or that have a more of a track record of working. Risky investments on their own don't necessarily have a track record. So these would be more things that, you know, a like a conservative member of the family, and I mean conservative emotionally, not politically, would be willing to do. Somebody who saves their pennies in a piggy bank. That type of investment is going to work better for you than anything that seems very risky. So now, you know, it's perfectly okay to be working on your risky investments on the side, but you you can't expect a lot of returns during this two week period. Okay, Capricorn, you guys are doing this full moon lighting up your house of relationships. And so this is what's in the spotlight who you're meeting. Are you meeting new people? Are you reconnecting with people you've known before? So this is all types of relationships. That is, you know, personal relationships, friendships, collaborations, mentors, uh, reconnecting with colleagues you used to work with, meeting new colleagues. So there's all of this, this energy that's just lit up, like people are ready to meet you. And so the moment you say to the universe, I want to meet new people, they'll, they'll be right Right here and you'll get to meet them and, and so that can be very helpful now so this is the universe sending you different people of all kinds so you might have a very particular idea of who you want to meet but the universe is just going to send who you really need to meet and so so that is and that could be for all different reasons, uh, positive and negative. You know, we can still learn and grow through negative lessons, unfortunately. So, so, you know, if you're extremely focused on meeting one exact person, you might be ignoring all the rest. This is a time to be a little bit more open and see, you know, who you're running into, basically who the universe is putting in your path. Now, the North Node going into Taurus is going to go through your house of risk, uh, creativity, fertility, uh, romance and adventure. So all those things about speculation and taking chances, but also pleasurable activities. And so for about a year and a half, you're going to be learning and growing in this area. And this could mean that you are working on expanding the family in some way, or that you are doing creative projects. 
It could be that you start to look at more risky types of investments. And that is, this is not to say that you should jump in. This is an 18 month aspect. And so everything should start with research and careful consideration, you know, weighing your risk tolerances and seeing what the upside and downside are to different ventures. And that could be anything from doing altcoins to actually, you know, writing your novel or a screenplay, uh, you know, something where you're pouring your, your heart and soul into it, but it may only have a small chance of making the big time. So this is where the North node is starting to travel through. So initially, of course, you're at square one, you're just learning and growing. And over the course of time, you'll get many opportunities to work through whatever issues uh, you have and to find your hidden talents in this area. Now, one of the important things to consider because it's Taurus is that you are looking at your sense of worthiness in this. And, uh, you know, if you are valuing your time and energy, if you are valuing what you're producing, what you're creating and how others are responding to what you create. So if you're creating things and you love them, but your audience doesn't value it, then you need to find a different audience. But if you are creating something that you're okay about and your audience doesn't like it you know maybe you need to listen to your audience and see what needs to change so it's like valuing other people's opinions and then also valuing yourself and finding the balance between those now when it comes to relationships even though the moon is lighting up that house it's not making an aspect to Saturn so it seems like your attention is elsewhere and this is that maybe the universe is sending you many people to meet and you are it looks like quite focused on money and money making matters and so maybe you are missing out on party invitations or opportunities to socialize or maybe you don't like to socialize through online means you know you'd rather socialize in person but it's not working out at the moment you know so there could be various reasons why you're feeling a little disconnected this is going to line up though pretty soon and so you know you you can just put it off for a little bit but it, it would be beneficial at this time to kind of pull yourself out of whatever it is you're focused on to greet the world a bit, make some initial contacts, and then you can bump, you know, actual meetings to a later date when you feel, you know, more ready for it or more comfortable. When it comes to your existing love relationships, it looks like there is some discussions going on about how finances are handled or how you are connecting together in, in a practical way. And so maybe you're talking about, you know, like equally sharing, um, you know, expenses or chores or responsibilities. It looks like, you know, that, if you can work those out, that you could really solidify this relationship, it could become a lot stronger. So if you've been waiting to have that discussion, it looks like that discussion is going to start on its own anyway. And so just be prepared for talking about this, this, uh, this aspect of the relationship that is so crucial. When it comes to home and family, it looks like things are pretty quiet on the home front. Mars is not making an aspect to Saturn and Mars is hidden in your 12th house. And so even though Mars is getting closer to the ascendant and this can bring something to light, like it's coming up over the horizon, it's rising in your chart. But the overall feeling for this two week period is that, that it's, there's something that's, that maybe is like starting to simmer, you know, something could bubble up, but I don't think it's going to come up over these two weeks. So I feel like things at home are pretty quiet. You know, you're not uh, maybe even spending a lot of time talking to family members, you're more focused on other things. So, and you know, and that's a good idea because this chart does look like you doing a little self care and valuing yourself that shows to be more important right now than constantly dropping everything you have to go and do for a family member who you might have been doing things for, you know, for years and years, it, it might be time for 
for you to have a little break. When it comes to your money, you are pulling money from several different sources, including a source from the past because Mercury is retrograde in that house. Uh, they, you are also pulling money from that Uranus in that house of taking risks or finding the adventure, you know, like finding what would be really exciting to do. And as the North Node starts to go through there, that's going to give that extra energy. So you're getting more opportunities. And this could be because maybe you're doing more money meditations or thinking about different ways of making money. And now, now you're starting to get some ideas. Now, some of these things are going to be repeats from the past and you have to determine why it would be a good idea now versus you know why wasn't it a good idea before and that might be because you have more time or you have more knowledge or maybe there is no difference and you're just going back to something that's familiar which is not a great idea so uh we also see that the sun is just outside that house so it's like there's a bright light that's about to come into that house it's not quite there yet Yet. So that means that more and more as the two weeks go by, you're going to have more opportunities to see things clearly. So right at the full moon, you may not want to jump into anything, but as we go towards the new moon, uh, which will be in February, um, that then you are going to see more opportunities. Now, when it comes to money from business or from a passive income source or investments done in a traditional way, uh, the sun's not making an aspect to Uranus. And so we do see that kind of mirroring what we were just saying that the, that the profits aren't actually getting to your accounts yet. Like it's, you're making about the same as usual and you are more exploring new money opportunities and money opportunities that you have run into before, but you haven't necessarily gotten everything, you know, nailed down yet to actually make the profits. So I think that you are starting a lot of things, exploring a lot of things, maybe getting into some new types of investments, or maybe just getting the brokerage account or the wallet set up, you know, that sort of stuff, which does take always longer than you expect, especially with Mercury retrograde. So, so, and then as these things line up, then you'll see the profits. So right now you're making about the same as usual. When it comes to money derived from career, that would be a paycheck. Mars is making a sesca quadrant to Uranus and of the two types of sesca quadrants, it's not the pleasant one. So that means you would have to do something rather extraordinary to get the attention of the boss to get the raise. But if you do, then the, you get the raise. So that is, you know, if a customer writes in some glowing review, grab that opportunity or if you you know have some big win you know during a meeting where you have the the information you know then meet with your boss later and say hey i want to raise so look, watch for the extraordinary thing that happens that is going to open that door for you and then don't miss that door but to try to make this happen this time means you know like you have to pull vault over something when you're not really a pole vaulter and that is uh, most of the time you're going to miss and so if if the circumstances line up for an opportunity where you look really good take the chance and ask your boss but otherwise you might want to wait until there's an easier aspect. Now, when it comes to investments that take a lot of time, energy, or money to get going, that would be like writing a screenplay or doing an album or doing investments in a very risky manner. And that would be like borrowing money to invest in something or investing in something that has a big downside. Uh, or using money that you can't afford to lose. That all covers risky investments. Uranus is making a trine to Venus. And so you do have good energy, all right? And I'm saying that like, I always get cautious here because I don't want you to take risks, especially with some money that you cannot lose, uh, cannot afford to lose. Venus is retrograde. So again, that puts a little bit of caution on this. But this is that, you know, there is a window of opportunity. So if you have a screenplay and you know an agent and you've been wondering when is the right time to send it, 
this is the two week period to send it. You know, if you are looking for a time to launch your album, this is the time to launch your album. I can't think of a time where it's ever a good idea to invest money you can't afford to lose. That's a big no, no period. And I can't think of a time where it's a good idea to borrow money to do an investment because uh, in this category, because it's a risky investment. So that to me also, it's just, it's too risky all the time. But if this is you partnering with your cousin to go get a franchise, uh, you know, there's some positive energy here for, you know, going through the contract and getting things signed and getting started. Okay, Aquarius, this full moon is lighting up your area of work, health, and routines. And that means that it's time to pay attention to how you do your work, um, you know, how you get things done, what are the processes that you use, how can you streamline them, how can you eliminate unnecessary tasks, how can you collaborate with others, or how you can uh, delegate some of the responsibilities to someone else. So, and you know, I was listening to a video of a guy who he, he would use anything he could to save himself time. And that included programming his lights so he could use his phone to turn off the lights when he was in bed to save himself the three seconds of getting up and turning off the lights. So I don't know where he would fall on that. He would have gotten exercise for getting up you know, so, but anyway, the, the idea is that you don't have to go to that extreme, but you might want to look at what is taking your time, especially things that you don't like to do and see where you can eliminate it or delegate it or automate it. So then also this is about health and your well being, And so looking at health routines, you know, perhaps starting a you know, eating healthier foods or doing some regular exercise. I like the idea of mini habits. Uh, I can put a link to that book in the description. That was a guy who wanted to get healthy, but he couldn't seem to get to the gym. So he just did one push up a day. And then as he found that some days he would do a lot of push ups and some days he would just do one. But by the end of the year, he was in a much better physical place. And then this is also highlighting work. And that does mean that your coworkers and your relationship is under the spotlight right now. So it's possible that, you know, you're needing to interact more. Maybe you're going back into the office. Maybe you're back at home and now you're having to do Zoom. And so you can't really tell because nobody turns their camera on or, or there's something that is causing you to pay a lot of attention to work and co-workers at this time. Now, the North Node going into Taurus is going to travel through your house of home, family, and real estate for a year and a half. If you've been thinking about getting into real estate or expanding your real estate business, you have 18 months where you're going to get a bunch of different opportunities and lessons in this area. And that is, you are kind of trudging up a hill, but it's a hill you've wanted to climb. It's got a great view from the top. There's success there. And so you have to start the journey. And so that could be, you know, learning about in different relationship, relationship, <laughs> different real estate opportunities. There's so many different ways to invest in real estate. Some of them take a lot of money to do. Some of them don't take that much money. And you also have here home and family, and that is maybe collaborating with your family to get together to do these types of investments. Again, this is a year and a half aspect, so we will be talking about it over the course of many months. The with family is, of course, uh, you have opportunities to get back together with estranged, you know, siblings or parents or children. There could be some changes at home over the next 18 months where you move get a roommate, um, you know, start living with your sweetheart, uh, expand the family through having a child or getting more pets, you know, so there's a lot of different changes that are going to happen and unfold. So, but right at the beginning, this is more considering what you want and looking at what you feel you deserve and how, how, you know, you can express your value, your self-worth through your home. And so that might just start with how you take care of the home, how you interact with your family and what that says about you and your integrity. So this, this is, again, it's a long aspect. You'll get many chances to work on this. 
when it comes to relationships, it's interesting because it's like your scene because the moon is very close to the descendant. So the moon has just set. And so, so there's just like a little peaking light and the sun is rising and right now. And so, so it's just that, that point at sunrise where the moon's gone and, and the sun is there. And so you're easy to be seen, but you're not really paying attention. And so, so someone may come to you for a love relationship, but you don't really notice. And your friends might all say, you know, they grab your sleeve and go, hey, hey, that person's interested. And you're like, I don't see it. So recognize that if you are looking for a love relationship, you may have to rely on other people to point out who is available. Now, when it comes to existing relationships, the sun's not making an aspect with Uranus and you seem to be a little invisible. So that is maybe your, your sweetheart wants to have a discussion with you, wants to talk about something serious, but you are either too busy or too distracted or you're not taking the hints. So, and it's challenging because there's no aspect. So I don't expect you two to come together on this topic at the moment it's possible that this is flipped and you're the one trying to get their attention but this looks like more that you're the one who is distracted and going a different direction so they will get your attention at some point it's just probably not over the next two weeks so when it comes to home and family we already talked a lot about how the north node is going to play a role uh, but also venus is making a trine to uranus so there is some positive energy going on right now i think that there is some happy surprise happening it's possible that you are having some guests come by to stay or there's a new addition to the family you know maybe one of your kids is bringing home a date or you do have a new cat or dog you know like like something is is happening in the house the venus is retrograde and so this might be something you were expecting or is happening for the second time when it comes to your money jupiter is now in your house of money and this brings you expanded opportunities and extra luck that's the good news the the challenge is that jupiter can be so lucky bringing you just enough of what you need that you don't feel motivated to go out and get more and so you can get to a place where everything's covered but you're not accumulating and so this is the thing you're in a period of time now on and off this whole year where you can accumulate more money but you know again the motivation is not going to be there because it just you know money just seems to fall into your lap so you have to remain a little bit hungry during this time but this does say that money can come from multiple sources and that there's going to be new ideas all the time of different ways of making money now when it comes to uh, investments done in a traditional manner or income from your business, home business, family business, um, royalties, affiliate marketing, any sort of passive income sources, including real estate investing. Mercury is not making an aspect to Neptune and Mercury's retrograde. So everything's kind of delayed. So you're making about the same as usual and the promises of big money are just promises right now. They're going to manifest later, but you know, even if they've sent, they've sent you the check or it's processing and all that, it seems to be coming outside of this two week period. And I know this can make you a little bit frustrated because Mercury is in your own sign now, but if you can just focus on other things at the moment, I think that's going to be the most helpful because the, the, frustration of trying to wait mercury retrograde out is just too much <laughs> so it, it's it's better if you say okay thank you for telling me it's in the mail and then you go focus on these opportunities that jupiter is going to bring now when it comes to money derived from career uh, you have a couple of really positive things going on. Now, first of all, the North Node, sorry, the South Node is leaving that house, which means that some of the limitations are going, which is great. Mars is in Sagittarius, still in that house. That's fantastic. And because that will create some activity in this area. Now, the even though Neptune and Jupiter are not speaking to each other by aspect, they are in the same sign. Plus 
uh, Jupiter is in your house of money and so you have the money coming to you so I think this is a perfect time to talk to your boss and say you want to talk about your career trajectory I don't know why I want to say that those two words together they're so hard for me to say career trajectory uh, in general how you know what where you're heading with your career because I think that you have you know if you want to be in this company you have some real upward mobility could happen you also have opportunities to transfer to a new department or to have some other alteration that could bring you more money and now this aspect's going to last quite a while it's going to be on and off for the whole year so if you don't feel like you want to ask right at the moment that's fine your son is hidden so you're kind of behind the scenes maybe you don't want to do it and Jupiter will exactly line up with Neptune during the course of the year when it will be the most obvious and the easiest time to ask so you're just starting this window right now so you can consider it but uh, there is also going to be even better times over the course of the year and we'll talk about those in future videos and then finally when it comes to investments done in a risky fashion that is speculating or gambling uh, or you are doing something that takes a lot of time energy or money to get going so you're kind of rolling the dice to see if your screenplay gets picked up by a major studio those sort of risky or investments Mercury is not making an aspect with Neptune and Mercury's retrograde so it's tons of delays now the north node is getting out of that house so it does make it a little easier because when the north node leaves a house it means that your set of lessons is complete you have learned all these different things about you know how to write screenplays and who to talk to and you know how to pitch and how to do your log line and all that other stuff so the you know you have these lessons down but it's not quite the right time to talk about it not time to make the pitch or to do the investment because mercury is retrograde it says that there's still additional information about the specific circumstances that you're going to find out so you just want to wait a little bit while a little while longer okay Pisces this full moon is lighting up your house of fun you know pleasure uh romance adventure also creativity fertility and taking risks and this is why we call this area the house of risky investments and so this is where the spotlight is and this is where you are needing to look at you know love and how you're putting love out into the world what you're receiving in the area of love and that is you know maybe you're pouring your love into your creative projects and that's wonderful but if you are then showing it to people and nobody is giving you appreciation then you need to go find a different audience or maybe you're wanting to have love in your life and so the way that this would suggest is to go out and be love to many many people and then you will find who is willing to give you love in return and so and that is you know by being love I mean you know being joyful and smiling and you know being kind to people being considerate being empathetic and you know really showing them in a very generous fashion uh, you know that you are love and then you you know like attracts like and you will attract to you romance and love back to you so this is lit up for two weeks and so it, during this process you might be considering getting a pet because talk about love that that's total 100 percent love and so you know if you need the practice in the love area you know like puppies and kittens they work really really well so but they, of course there are huge responsibilities as well um but uh you know you can go pet sit you know and then you can just have love for the moments <laughs> when we look at the north node the north node is crossing from your fourth house into your third house this is crossing your ic which does say that something major is happening for you over the next year and a half and that is there's a shift in the very foundations uh so that is that there's there's something that's core to your being that you are changing your mind about or that something new is happening and that 
that can be anything from like empty nest, you know, like, like the kids are all gone and now you have to focus on yourself and, and who you are out in the world. Or maybe you're going back to school or maybe you're starting a new job. Maybe you are moving to a new place and you don't know anybody or you're moving back home, but now you're having to integrate with, you know, people you haven't been around in a long time. So you can expect some major shift over the course of this transit. So a year and a half, you know, I don't have your chart in front of me, so I don't know exactly when this is going to happen. But we do know that because this energy is shifting, that's some of the focus. Now, additionally, because this North Node is going to go through your house of communication, now your learning and lessons come in that area. And that is not just communicating with others, but how you communicate with yourself. And so looking at how you value yourself, are you kind to yourself, are you compassionate and empathetic to yourself, are you as kind to yourself as you are to other people? You know, the idea of love your neighbor as yourself, that goes both directions, you know. If you are so kind to other people but mean to yourself, that's out of balance. And then this is also about how to communicate with other people and the various ways that people have for thinking about things can make communication difficult. Some people have, you know, different meanings for the word, say, love. Some people, that word is a trigger point for them. And so you have to use then different language to describe what you're thinking of so that they're not triggered. It, so you have a year and a half to be working on this. There's a few other things that this will cover, like how you handle paperwork, you know, uh, uh, maybe going paperless, uh, how you deal with your vehicle. You know, do you uh, really love your vehicle and take care of your vehicle? Or is this, is it time to get a new vehicle? How you deal with contracts uh, and agreements that you made. And of course, your relationship with neighbors and siblings. So over the course of the year and a half, uh, this will come up again and we'll talk about it further. Now, when it comes to relationships and specifically new love, Mercury is not making an aspect with Neptune, but Mercury is retrograde. So what is possible is that you are going back to somebody that you were in a relationship with before or getting into a relationship with someone you knew before. So they were a friend or a colleague and now passions are kind of heating up. But there is still some mismatch here on the schedule. So I don't know if there's much more going on than just some communication and flirting. There's just some, you know, talk about it, but it's hard to get together because there is some, some conflicts in the schedule. When it comes to existing relationships, now it does look like there is some secret that is coming out. And this is something that, you know, maybe was almost out before, or maybe you did tell the person and they didn't remember. And so now they're super shocked or vice versa. You, you know, they say that they told you, but you don't recall. And so you're a little bit surprised to find this out. And so, and then you know, because there's no aspect between Neptune and Mercury, I think that both of you, you know, you learn the secret and then you kind of go to your separate corners to think, huh, I wonder what this means. And you're not really coming together yet to talk about it. You will, but that's not quite yet. When it comes to home and family, of course, as we were talking about, that North Node being out of there actually does make things a little easier. It means that a lot of the lessons about home and family have been learned. You have assimilated these. And so that's you know, that can be really beneficial. Now, of course, now the North Node will be in that house of siblings, so we can't count the siblings as home and family, which, you know, like if you live with your sibling, then it gets all murky, like, you know, you probably still learning lessons, but you have come a long way. But there's no aspect going on between Mercury and Neptune. And as we said before, Mercury is retrograde. So something that was out there is coming back. This could be an old discussion or 
maybe you're thinking again of moving. Uh, maybe you are trying to move, but there are delays. Mercury retrograde can make massive delays. Uh, so, so, and the best thing to do is to make sure that every pa piece of paper that you have to submit, you submit multiple times if they need it. Make sure you have a backup copy. Make a lot of phone calls and check in with people in a very, you know, nice way. You know nice will get you a long way <laughs> to getting what you want uh you know even during mercury retrograde but you know to call and check in did you get the piece of paper did you get the facts you know so because when mercury's retrograde you just have to pay more attention because everybody else's lives are so chaotic at that point that to get what you want you're going to have to help them focus when it comes to your money, you're pulling energy from that Mars, which is way up at the top of your chart, which is fantastic. It's in Sagittarius, that adventurous sign, and it's in your house of career or vocation. And so this is like following your path, following the things that you want to do or that you know how to do, and you have opportunities. Mars is very close to the galactic center, and that can mean that all the answers are available to you. And that is, of course, you know we know that that's Google right we just put in the question and we get the answer so this is all about formulating a good question you know I find that when I'm trying to do something technical oftentimes it just takes me a while to figure out what that thing is called you know like um, sometimes I have trouble with the audio and video syncing up um, on when I'm doing a video and it was interesting because it took me a long time to figure out oh yeah that's a syncing problem because I didn't I didn't know why it was doing that so when you find that right question what happens is then because especially with Mars on the galactic center all the answers you need just are there you know displayed for you and that can come in the form of people or information online so if you have questions right now about how to make more money, how to do what you love to do, this is what the universe is saying is open to you, all the information you need. When it comes to money from investments that are done in a traditional manner, or if we're talking about uh, a small business, a home-based business, a family business, or passive income sources like selling digital recordings or doing affiliate marketing, Mars is not making an aspect to Venus and Venus is retrograde. So there's a lot of energy here that says that you are more working on other things and other projects and not so focused on actually, you know, getting the check from people, making the profits. And I think that that's okay. I think that there are times where you really focus on reaching a lot of people. Venus, which is retrograde, is in your house of community. And that would be getting involved in networking meetings, uh, going out and speak or, you know, speaking online to lots of people, uh, you know, doing things that are involving technology to automate your your business or to look at different ways of investing um you know brand new to you or that maybe maybe in getting involved in a group where you learn more about investing so all of these things are going to get easier when mercury when mercury when venus goes direct but right now these two planets aren't talking to each other so you're making about the same as usual now, when it comes to money derived from career, you have a full house. Venus is there, Pluto's there, the sun is there, Mars is just on the outside of that house. So we have a lot of activity and I think that there could be some promises of you know, a new position for you, a raise, but Saturn's not making an aspect with Mars yet. So that means that whatever benefits are coming, the monetary benefits are coming outside this two week period. So that is, I think that you can, you know, start to get the paperwork in place for a raise or start to, you know, maybe talk to the boss about getting a new position, uh, getting a new job. Maybe you are in the negotiations, the salary negotiations for a new job, or maybe you're in that background check period, but you haven't started the new job yet. So new jobs and shifting your position position are very, very strong, but the money itself comes outside the two-week period. Now, when it comes to investments done in a non-traditional or risky way, and that is 
you know, especially things that involve gambling, speculation, or using money you can't afford to lose, which we never ever want to do. Uh, or if you're doing actual risky investments that are okay to do, and those are the things that take a lot of time, energy, or money to get going. And that would be like, you know, starting, uh, starting to do a craft business where, you know, there's a lot of upfront where you have to make your prototypes and take your pictures and set up your Etsy account and get everything online. I mean, that can be considered this risky startup time where you don't know yet if people are going to buy your merchandise. So that's, you know, and then once it's established, it's going to move up to the eighth house and be your business. But Okay, that was a long way of saying that the moon is making an inconjunct to Mars. And so it's not the most comfortable aspect, but it is an aspect. So we do see some profits from these coming to you. And that is you have to go do the uncomfortable thing or you have to adjust something or you have to do the parts of the business that you don't really like to do. And maybe that's reading all the terms and conditions or, you know, really getting down there to, to figure out how, how it works. Well, you know, what are the fees? What are, what's the mechanism? How can you make this work for you? So this is a time where you have to actually kind of labor to make it happen. Now there are going to be easier aspects throughout the year, but this and but this is an aspect, even though it's a difficult one. And so, if you are a person who is okay with a little bit of a uphill climb, if you don't mind a little bit of work, and you're ready, like you're enthusiastic and you want to lean in, this is a time where you could see some profits or some real success from this uh, creative adventure that you're on. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and stay tuned because LaRue wants to say hi.